Hello everyone, this is Jan Chromi and together we will continue the course Interdisciplinary Approaches to Language and its Use. In this presentation we will conclude our discussion of discourse processing in psycholinguistics and we will focus on situation models as a key concept in the text comprehension research in the last 20 years. The idea of situation models is not new. Already in the 1980s, Theon van Dijk and Walter Kinch, in their book Strategies of Discourse Comprehension, defined situation model as a cognitive representation of the events, actions, persons, and in general the situation a text is about. According to these authors, situation models are stored in episodic memory. In other words, Situation model is a mental representation of a state of affairs described in a text. Importantly, the situation models are based not only on the information explicitly present in the given text, but also on previous experiences, general world knowledge, and so on. A seminal study in the research on situation models in the domain of psycholinguistics was a paper by Rolf Zwan and Gabriel Radvansky, Situation Models in Language Comprehension and Memory. The authors distinguish five situational dimensions, time, space, causation, intentionality, and protagonists and objects. They claim that as each incoming clause is processed, the event representation is formed and it is integrated with the event representations currently in working memory based on its overlap with those representations on each of the five dimensions. Zwan and Radvansky say that if the event occurs within the same time frame as the events in working memory, there is overlap on the temporal dimension. If the event takes place within the same spatial region, there is a spatial overlap. If it involves the same entity, such as a person or an object, there is entity overlap. If it is causally related to the previous, previous event or events, there is causal overlap. And if it's uh, part of the same goal plan structure, there is motivational overlap. Importantly, these, there are certain predictions related to this view of situation models. The authors predict that the more situational overlap the current event has with the contents of working memory, the easier it should be to process the clause describing the event and also the stronger the connections between the current event and the events in working memory should be in long-term memory. One of the studies which offers evidence that we are building situation models during comprehension is the paper by Rolf Zwan, Robert Stanfield and Richard Yexley. They presented the participant sentences which described animals or objects in certain locations. For example, they use sentences such as the ranger saw the eagle in the sky and the ranger saw the eagle in its nest. These sentences differed in respect of the shape of the animal or object described. The first sentence implied that the eagle was flying and that it had its wings outstretched. In the second sentence, the eagle is implicitly sitting and its wings are folded. After reading a sentence, participants were shown a picture and their task was to decide whether the entity in the picture has been mentioned in the preceding sentence. Importantly, participants responded slower when the picture mismatched the implied shape than when there was a match between the shape implied by the sentence and in the picture. Zwan, Stenfield and Yaxley thus argue that the comprehenders activate perceptual symbols that include the shape of objects even when the shape is not implied or articulated by the linguistic input. This is, this is one of the many demonstrations that we create situation models during reading. Before we will conclude this presentation, I have one reading tip for you. If you would like to learn more about situation models, I would like to recommend you a recent review article, Situation Models, Mental Simulations and Abstract Concepts in Discourse Comprehension by Rolf Zwan. If you enjoyed the presentations, we would be glad if you would like them on YouTube. That is all from me now. See you next time.